Hi everyone, I'm in recording mode. I just <laughs> needed a drink. Anyway, this is my Delphonics vertical utility pouch that I house all of my goodies that I use, not all, but most of my goodies that I use for my onion skin journal. And it actually fits perfectly in the back pocket here. You can see the journal sticking out. Well, it is time to remove my onion skin journal. And I don't know what journal I'm going to put back here because my um, my A5 onion skin does not fit in here. So I might change things around. I might uh, move the goodies from this pouch into a pouch that will fit my onion skin journal. Um, maybe like the medium size, but the medium size is kind of big. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I am going to somehow move things around when I do decide to use my onion skin journal. And then whenever I set that up, whenever I move things around, um, I am going to share that with you guys. I'm just gonna fix my, I'm recording with my phone, so I'm just gonna fix that. But I completed my onion skin journal. This is the A6 size and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's just do a flip through. So this is the A6 size. I really, really enjoyed this book. It was not, um, there aren't many pages and because the pages are transparent, um, I didn't use the back side or I didn't actually journal in the back side for the most part. So this is the blue like linen type cover. Um, it has their logo and then it has um, the onion skin journal kind of stamped here using this um, silver or metallic kind of stamp press or whatever it's called. I don't know. And the inside kind of reminds me of like certificate paper cardstock certificate paper i don't know um or maybe a cardstock that you would use for a wedding invitation um it kind of reminds me of the cardstock i used for my wedding invitation <laughs> that was the first thing i thought of whenever i opened this up to check it out so overall, the journal held up really nicely, but I did take care of it um, and I really enjoyed it. And I am looking forward to using another um, book with these uh, types of paper in here. And I do have a traveler's notebook, the traveler's notebook, traveler's, traveler's notebook, I don't know the uh, B-Size Rarities notebook with similar paper. And then I do have an A5 onion skin um, waiting to be used. <laughs> okay, let's just get on with the flip through. I'm not gonna explain all of my pages or any of that. I'm just gonna share the journal. So I started this September 11th and I completed it on November 27th. 2021 so besides this page the first page where I just wrote the dates and the last page where I did my pen test I journaled on every page the notebook came with this guy it's kind of like a um, you can see through the page so like if you want to write straight um, like a line page or if you want to make put the dot grid behind so you can kind of see the dot grid I don't know if you guys could see can you see that I don't know <laughs> anyway so I did use that it did come with a bookmark but I don't know where it is where's the bookmark 
I don't know. Anyway, so September 11th to November 27th, so about a month and a half-ish. Um, I did add stickers, sticker flakes, uh, papers, um, different kinds of washi tapes here and they're really really fun and I'm just wondering how everything looks on screen so and then I used for the most part I used a brown pen I actually finished up one of my um, ink joy gels the brown one I finished it up using the using it in this uh, book and then I did like little clusters it was like a vintagey vintagey feel of some washi tape and like these vintagey stamps and I did actually stamp here um, I did little flippies little clusters um, basically that was that's how it is like throughout the journal so you could see the back side if you were to write over this it would be really really difficult to see your journaling so sometimes or maybe every page I'm not sure um, I did like some kind of cluster and then if you had a piece like this now you have that white space behind so I actually journaled here and then I put a little piece of vellum there and <laughs> same thing here um, I just like the sound and I did journal there because I put uh, this piece of paper over there so I journaled behind it there so I just, I don't know I just had like a system and I did it again over there oh and then this is like um I had a bunch of things I don't know if this is from my sister-in-law she might have sent me these vintage uh, receipts or something or I might have picked it up at an office supply store that sold like old receipt books I don't remember either way um, I used it, put a little flippy thing here, this kind of covered it. Oh, there's the bookmark. So this is the bookmark that the notebook came with. And then, um, <laughs> I just want to make it make music. And then there's like another like flippy thing and different. Oh, there I did it again. Oh, this is like, um, the flippy thing was a plain piece and I just stuck some washi tape on top and then <laughs> there's the sound there's like the collage cluster and then oh this time I actually put I covered up the whole side I put this paper washi tape coffee washi stickers and washi tape there's a little cluster and oh here's another like of those receipt kind of things that I just put down really 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 nice it just gives it this awesome feeling here's some um, vellum and then this has a clear acetate piece over it and I stamped that and I just I just really love like I don't even know <laughs> can you guys still see I just really loved the way it turned out, like stamps and the, the brown um, pen ink just made it, I don't know. This is, this is still a brown pen, but this is a different um, kind of pen. And here's another cluster. It's just so nice. There's the, um, Stamping. This is stamping. I added this little sticker here on this stamp and it kind of looks like a clipboard or I think it looks like a clipboard more. I think this is, this is vellum, but I just stuck it on. Um, this is from Kay and Osherman and more stickers, more vintage-ish kind of ephemera pieces. There's a stamp that I stamped upside down on accident. These are from Art by, Mar I'm sorry, Art by Marlene. And it's just, that's a printable. 
I don't usually use printables, but I felt like because this was brown, it kind of went with it. Here's another flippy uh, vellum thing. More collage clusters. Um, papers. Here's a flippy. <laughs> this is a piece of acetate. This is a gold pen. And, oh, I think I stuck that vellum piece down. Thanksgiving, more vellum. I probably should have journaled right there. Here's another vellum, a blank one that I stamped. Small Business Saturday. I just tipped in a paper. And then I just tipped in another paper. Oh, and this is the last page that I journaled on. And this was the pen test that I did when I first got the notebook. So that is the flip through of the onion skin journal that I completed in November 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have this notebook or if you've tried using onion skin paper, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.